So then we get to the stars of the show, namely Jack and Amanda Brewster. This house is based on love, that the love that you share for each other is something to celebrate, is something to climb up to the top of the spire and proclaim across the whole of Grantham that today love has found a home. So really on behalf of my wife and I, I wanted to welcome you all to our special day here at Harlockston Manor. It really does mean so much to have you all here with us in person. We knew within a few moments of walking through those gates that this place was really, really special. Tomorrow morning, if you wake up and the sun does not appear, I, I will be here. If in the dark we lose sight of love, hold my hand and have no fear, because I, I will be here. A few years ago, I remember being at a service and a priest saying that marriage isn't just about love. What he said was that a truly successful marriage is one where a husband and a wife can support each other, both independently and together, through the good times and the bad times, but to be the best possible versions of themselves that they each can be. My love, I can hardly believe that today is here. By now, I suspect we'll both be feeling those nerves ahead of what I know is going to be the most incredible day of our lives. And when I think about that phrase, I realise just how lucky I am to have found what I have in Jack. All of the hard work and effort we've put into plan over the last two years has finally come together and I can't wait to see the faces of our family and friends enjoying it and supporting us as we start this special journey together. Most importantly, I can't wait to see you at the top of the altar to say my vows to you and to become your wife. I, Amanda, take you, Jack. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. I first met Jack when we started New Beacon age four. And I would describe our early relationship as much like that of two of Jack's favorite cartoon characters, Lisa and Bart Simpson. Being a little bit of a jealous father, <clears throat> I did ask him what it made him think he was good enough. <laughs> and I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, the answers he gave me passed with flying colours. So I accepted. Jack, yes? I also wanted to mention my bridesmaids. There's not much to say other than I love you immeasurably. You all look absolutely stunning today and you've just done the most amazing job of supporting me, not just today, but through all of the years that we've known each other, of which there are a lot and a lot of varied stories. So really, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you all so, so much. On a similar theme, I also want to thank my best man, James, and my other ushers, David, Murray, Chris, Harry, and of course, our MC, Sam. I'm hugely lucky to have such an amazing bunch of friends here today from every stage of life. One of the things that I've always admired about him is his ability to maintain a strong work-life balance. Whether it be negotiating more sabbaticals than a 75-year-old classics professor, managing to, to secure first-class tickets to the US for a one-day work meeting, followed by four days of seeing his friends in Philadelphia, or even managing to meet his future wife at work his talent knows no bounds.
to my parents, John and Jill. You've always been there with, for me with unwavering love and support and have always encouraged me to be the very best that I can be. I know you both think the world of Amanda and we are particularly thankful for your frequent sanctuary and well-stocked fridge in Seven Oaks whenever we have needed to escape the strains of London. And to my beautiful mum. I mean, to you I owe the woman I am today. I mean, I'm kinder, braver, stronger, and more ambitious than I ever could imagine that I would be. And that all stems from you being the most amazing role model and my best friend. And I just don't know where I'd be without you. I love you both very, very much. I couldn't wish for anyone better. So on that note, Jack, I'm pleased to have you as a family member. And I do mean that. I know you're not a man of many words, but the words that you do say always have so much meaning. But for me today, that look in your eyes as you gave me away down the aisle was worth a thousand of them. And I want you to know that I'm every bit as proud of what you've achieved as I know you are of me today. Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death, its jealousy unyielding as the grave. It burns like blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love, rivers cannot sweep it away. If one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly scorned. Unlike me, Amanda brings a strong creative streak to our relationship. She has worked incredibly hard over the several, several months, preparing and designing herself the orders of service, the table plans, the flowers, the invitations, the cake, the menus, the table decorations and more, all accompanied by a razor sharp level of detail, including a nine tab spreadsheet with several hundred rows. <laughs> you look absolutely stunning today, and I could not be more proud to be standing here beside you as your new husband. Amanda, I've known Jack for a very long time. Treasure his friendship greatly and could not imagine a more perfect match for him than you. You bring him so much joy and happiness. Share in his love for adventure, world travel and fine dining. But you also keep him grounded and have taught him that simplicity can be the ultimate sophistication and that a Sunday night in with a pizza and a bottle of house red can be equally as special. It's testament to you both that so many lifelong friends are here to celebrate with you today. And we are all so happy for your lives together and so excited to watch you embark on the next chapter of them with each other. Blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always. Amen. driven, everyone here know, but now they've moved on to the motorway of life. 
And as we all know, there will be occasions they will need to stop to refuel. There will be occasions when they need to rest. And there will also be occasions when they overheat. But I do know one thing, that they've both got the engines good enough to take them to the end of that road. But actually for me, this is you doing what you always do, and that is encouraging me to thrive. And it's been that very ability that you've had from the very first day that we've met that makes me realise just how amazing you are. Life with Amanda is always filled with fun, adventure and excitement. We never argue and we always seem to land at the same conclusions on the most important decisions in life, to which the answer is normally chicken Kiev or pasta carbonara. <laughs> Amanda, I genuinely can't wait for what the future holds for us and I feel enormously lucky and proud to be your new husband. I promise to always love and be there for you and to support you through whatever life may hold in store. right there, pushing me and supporting me to be the very best version of myself that I can possibly be. And you have my unequivocal promise that I will always reciprocate that for you. And that is how I know that we have one of the greatest gifts of a foundation for our marriage that we could wish for. I've got you, you've got me, and we've got our incredible friends and our family. I, Jack, take you, Amanda. I, Jack, take you, Amanda. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have, to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Huge cheers to our amazing friends and family. Cheers. To my amazing wife, Amanda. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the new Mr. and Mrs. I thought it would be fitting to leave you all with a quote from Jack's favorite poet. There's a reason two people come together and stay together. There's something they give each other that nobody else can. So if I can leave you both with one thought, it's to remember what you give each other and to make sure you do it each and every day.